everyone. So today I wanted to show a very simple DIY that I've come up with and I was inspired by a place that holds a super special place in my heart and it would be Muskoka, Ontario, Gravenhurst, Bracebridge area. My husband took us away on our first little getaway about 15 years ago to this location and we've ever since continued that little tradition with our family and going up there at least once a year but sometimes maybe in the summertime or uh, during the Christmas holidays but I have always kind of we like even our fireplace stonework and stuff is kind of like a mimic almost of the Muskoka area there's a lot of rustic and deep earthy tones and then they throw in some plaid and it just gives you this warm cozy feeling but when I saw these placemats at the Dollar Tree I thought oh my goodness I just need to make something cute and cozy that's kind of like muskoka -ish. so this little deer a Mod Podge glitter pillow turned out super cute and then with you'll easily find these for like $30 in the area so with this one here then I thought oh I better have like a little monogram one so I made one with our initial for our last name and I think it turned out really well too if you like DIYs like these please be sure to give me a like or comment down below because I really appreciate that it kind of keeps me going and lets me know what you guys are into and I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoy this tutorial everyone please stay safe during the next coming weeks it is a busy time of year so stay alert and I wish you all the best thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you soon till, till then take care everyone bye so after browsing Google Images, I decided to go with the deer print and this was my favorite. So I made sure that I printed it large enough to fit the placemat in the center there. So you'll just want to make sure that you enlarge your picture large enough to print um, and then transfer over to your placemat. There are lots of words that you can even print Noel, um, anything like Christmassy that you'd like or non-Christmassy as well. So I took a piece of freezer paper and I placed the shiny part down and then I taped it to my working surface so that the image wouldn't be moving around. I just found it easier this way. I took a pencil and I outlined the actual image that I printed from my printer. Once that was complete, I just snipped the middle area of the image with a pair of scissors and worked my way around cutting the image out so that I would then have a stencil for working onto my placemat. Once your image is completely cut out, you're going to want to put the shiny part of the freezer paper down facing the placemat. So now this will be the adhesive part and you want to turn your iron on hot, however you don't want any steam. So it's on hot and uh, you're going to apply a little bit of pressure or back and forth making sure it adheres to your placemat so then when you do this mod podging part, you don't want it to be leaking underneath the stencil part. So I've used some Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree, however there is fabric Mod Podge that you can also purchase at a, a craft store. So I applied some Mod Podge in a little container and sprinkled some glitter. I chose gold because I thought it would accent um, the nice gold thread that's already on this placemat. I mixed it around really well and now I'm going to layer it onto the placemat itself, working uh, my way by dabbing and then I do gentle strokes just to even out all the glitter and the Mod Podge in the inner part here of my decal. So now I allowed this to dry for about two days. You don't have to wait that long. I just wanted to be sure that it was completely dry. And about two days later I slowly peeled it off just working my way around making sure that I'm not going to peel it off. It did adhere really well. I was super impressed with how it worked out. However, just be sure there that I um, didn't want to lift off any of the reindeer's antlers or anything like that. A few weeks back I had hauled a Slan standard pillow from Ikea and these range 
here in Canada for $1.99, which I think is terrific. You are welcome to use an old pillow and repurpose it, but unfortunately I don't have any on hand. So I tried to unthread the little corner of the placemat and had no success, so I took a pair of scissors and just made a little slit opening and uh, I cut it wide enough that my hand could fit into the little corner. Once I had my hand in there, I realized the Mod Podge had adhered both sides of the placemat together, so you see me separating that here. And now I just cut the standard pillow from Ikea and removed the pillow fill. And just fluffed it out a bit, and now I worked my way all the way in to all the corners, making sure that I filled the little placemat nice and even. Once I finished filling it, I fluffed it around and I think it turned out so cute. So now to close up the corner, I'm using hot glue. You definitely have the option to sew it or to even use an iron adhesive. I just ran a strip of hot glue and gently pressed it down because it's super hot. You don't want to burn yourself. Once that was sealed, I just made sure to cut off any of the loose strings that were hanging around. And I have a perfect cute throw pillow. I absolutely love this reindeer. It is so precious. For the next throw pillow, I wanted it to have a monogram and I'm using V for our last name. So I have printed it to the size that I'd like to have it um, Mod Podge to the placemat and then again I do the same things. I make sure to place it on my work table with some tape and I'm tracing out the V. going to use the freezer paper as the stencil. I just folded up the little area there. I snipped the inner part so I'm not cutting into the decal because I want to make sure that my letter is nice and straight and I'm ironing it perfectly without having it shift around on the placemat. So you'll see here that I just cut the inner part of my letter, pulled all of that paper out and now this becomes my stencil for working on the placemat. Once the Mod Podge was completely dry, I took the same steps that I did with the reindeer throw pillow. I stuffed it with some more pillow fill and then my two pillows were ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give me a like or subscribe to the channel for more DIYs like this. I look forward to sharing with you and seeing you very soon. Till then, have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.